Well, everyone, yeah, I know. It's snowing here in Nebraska. We still have crops in the field. Let's get to it. It's a chilly day today. It's almost 30 degrees. Whew! Cold today. So the snow is just barely sticking today. You can see out there. Only issue with all this snow is uh, we still got crops in the field. I got a field of corn. I need a harvest. I need to get that crop off the field if possible. And uh, this might be a nightmare dealing with all this, but I'm gonna go over here and see what the conditions are. If you don't know, we chopped this. Now it's uh, snowing like crazy. So we didn't chop the whole field. We just chopped a portion of the field. Uh, we still have majority of the field to harvest. That was the original plan anyways. Ooh. You know, the good thing about snow is it means all this hardens up the ground which makes this easier. The only thing is uh, kind of had to let this uh, crops dry off slightly so uh, the sieves will plug up. The combines won't be able to run in this uh, corn. This is a pretty big field of corn I'd like to get off otherwise I'm gonna have to call the insurance adjusters and I really don't feel like doing that. So uh, Hopefully uh, the snow will stop sometime and it'll warm up a little bit and uh, corn will be dried off. So corn dries off fairly quick. It doesn't take too long for it to dry off. So hopefully we can still get this off. There's a chance. So while I'm waiting it to for it to stop snow raining, whatever you guys want to call this, sleet, partial rain, I think I'm going to work on my old Chevy here get cleaned up so I gotta take the motor out uh, overhaul it and uh, basically I think I might do a little bit to the the doors or I mean the body of it clean that up a little bit I think it'll look nice and it'll be a nice truck to run around with and have fun with a hey, uh, horsies do you know I gave you like Three expensive barns so you wouldn't have to sit out in the cold. Yeah, you could just go in the the barn. It's right there. So I'm actually just trying to see if this corn is gonna go. It is slightly uh, snowing out here. And as you can see, it's actually uh, going right now, but uh, we are definitely going to have to run this through the dryer. Now, the only thing is... Wow, I am going all over the place here. Slippery, that's for sure. Out of control. Uh, I'm just worried about the sieves plugging up. So, just going to see how it's going to run here. But it's running late tonight. I don't know. I'll probably uh, just do a little bit of harvesting and then... Uh, I'm gonna end up uh, turning in for the night. Hopefully I can uh, start this uh, first thing uh, tomorrow morning. We need to get this through. We might have to clean out this combine a few times, but uh, we're gonna get this field harvested. Harvesting at night time.
Well, y'all, so there is snow in the forecast, and uh, we got a field to harvest, and there is already a whole bunch of snow on the ground. I mean, there is a ton of snow. So I did uh, harvest one, uh, basically, uh, load in our uh, Deerzilla. It's full. I have one truck brought over here, and I was going to sleep last night, and I was like, you know what? I didn't cover that truck. And I left all that corn in that harvester. I was just uh, rolling in my bed. There's nothing I really could do at that time. It always snowed on it. So I need to go out over here, clean out the truck, uh, unload the harvester. I, I need to get all the crew over here. Called Timmy. He's the normal uh, millennial and he, he's slow this morning. But he should be here soon. He's gonna help me, my wife, and uh, we should have a full crew today because we got a huge field to knock out here. Yeah, there's some snow in here. So I gotta clean this out here quickly. Uh, I probably will need that, uh, I'm gonna have to bring that uh, 8R over here too, just to help uh, clear off the roads and probably pull these trucks off, at least get them started. So I'll have to bring that over with the chain and help these trucks get uh, started out of this field. And I need to bring uh, the silver bullet, everything over. There's that beautiful rig, so it's full. Probably uh, unload it really quick and get it ready for my wife to start in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, a little slippery on top here. I need to slow it down. So, uh, it's always fun uh, harvesting, at least I think it's fun harvesting in snow. It's not really fun cleaning out the back of the harvester though, but it is kind of fun uh, harvesting though. It's not fun when you have to clean something out, but I don't know, I just think it's kind of fun. It's kind of enjoyable, but uh, when you do it a lot, it's definitely a pain in the arse. But it's a deerzilla, just poops it all out there real quick. Doesn't take no time at all. I'm just gonna go a little ways here just to make sure uh, everything is running good. Seems like everything's still running pretty good so we are ready to full-fledged harvest so we need to get the whole crew over here as fast as possible. I gotta start this truck up. Ugh. I'm on. Oh, there we go. That's the way to do it, Pete. So I'm gonna leave this thing running. I'll let the Peterbilt build up with air, and then I'm going to have to bring uh, both of these uh, tractors over there. First, we will bring our uh, beautiful Steiger over. Whoa, man. This is a little bit of snow on top, but man, does it make it slippery. I have to call the road department and possibly ask them to uh, clear this off, maybe? Jake, where are you at? Don't know where this Jake guy is at. He needs to uh, run these roads quickly. We did leave a little bit of alfalfa in our field, so... Unfortunately, that I think it kind of messed up the map, and I think I'm gonna have to plow that under and put grass on it. So we still have that to do. We got a lot on the to-do list. So, uh, oh man, slow down, I'm slipping all over the place here. So we're driving the eight R here. Uh, Timmy showed up. I could tell by uh, his truck here. That is definitely, so he basically made a good looking truck look, uh, I don't know, I mean, that's not my pick of colors, but, uh, Timmy loves it, he is so proud of this truck, but, you go Timmy, if you like it, it's all on you, it's your truck. So, I'm bringing this 8R basically because I know there's going to be issues with, uh, trucks getting stuck, possibly a 
harvester or a grain cart, you never know, but this is our best, uh, cheapest option to get them out, that's for sure, so. Luckily, we only have a few inches of snow out here, so the snow really isn't that bad. It's pretty uh, minor, but uh, uh, the harvester Timmy's running says his sieves are staying clean, so most of the snow is knocked off of the, uh, the stocks, which makes it good. So that's usually what uh, it gives on all like the, the husk of the corn, and the corn starts the corn husk and all the fines. Woo! Oops. Did a little uh, circle for you guys. It's, uh, it's still slippery on top if you guys can't tell. I'm really trying to go straight here. Uh, this is why I brought this uh, 8R over because I'm counting on issues with uh, these trucks getting stuck in. Uh, with only a limited man crew here, we're going to have to uh, basically uh, do as best as we can. Oh man, so I got the wife started. Uh, Timmy's running down here. He's way down there somewhere. You can't even see him right now because all the snow. Snow kind of blinds your eyes. It's so bright. But uh, I'm going to run back with the truck and get the other semi and that should be our last item we need to bring over here. Just let this thing warm up pretty good. So I plan on uh, keeping this thing so these trucks can basically handle pretty well empty. The only issue is is when they're full, that's when it starts giving us issues. So That's what the 8R is for. Hopefully I can just get it to the hard path surface and then they can do the rest. I'm hoping these trucks don't slow us down because uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard keeping up with uh, the two harvesters the way it is with the uh, trucks uh, holding us back, so. All right, we're gonna pull as close as possible. We'll fill up uh, our load star first. All right, so now it's time to jump in our grain cart and start this day off. No, Timmy's full over here, so I'll go on and load him quickly. All right, I'm gonna go unload the wifey here over here. So I plan on getting a little bit of a harvest time in today, but uh, at first it's basically being as efficient as possible. And to be honest, I kind of like running the grain cart at times, but it is kind of fun running the harvester in the snow. But it's fun running the grain cart in the snow too just because it's more of a challenge you gotta make sure you don't get stuck uh, uh, can't go as quickly because uh, basically uh, everything is more slippery and you definitely don't want to tip over a grain cart or something like that So I just drove the drone around a little bit and looks like Timmy's already waiting for me. I gotta get over there. I don't know how all these farmers do it while they are driving other equipment. That is a huge challenge, at least for me anyways. I can't drive a, a grain cart like this and drive a drone. I know they have autopilot and that type of stuff, but still, I mean... Got to make sure it doesn't uh, hit stuff, uh, detect dust, and basically crash itself. So there's a lot of challenges of driving a drone. 
All right, I kind of parked my uh, truck right in the way here. Yeah, slippery, even with this big uh, Steiger here, slipping all over the place. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut some inros off for my wife so she can have an easier time basically turning around. So, not really that challenging, but uh, when you uh, can't just rely on rope guidance and all that stuff completely. It's uh, challenging for them, I guess. Looks like somebody's wheat is uh, ruined over here. Glad I'm not that farmer. Means it's room will just turn around in her field. Only need probably about one in row, so uh, we really don't have nothing. This this ground beside us over here is fertile, so basically uh, nothing was planted in it, so we can uh, easily uh, use this. What I do plan on doing is unloading this so quickly. Unload this uh, harvester here. So uh, I really haven't had to uh, experience trying to pull out the trucks yet. Kind of glad on that. Uh, but we haven't even uh, tried to move one of them yet. So still working on the first load. All right, my wife's taking off over there. So she's good now. I'm going to try to unload this grain cart finally. I don't know why this Steiger keeps turning off. Probably have to back this old grain cart up on there. I parked my truck in the wrong spot. Like a dummy. There we go. That'll do, Bobby. That'll do. Timmy is over there calling me already. He needs unloaded. It's no rest for the wicked here. Uh, this corn is fairly dry but it's still a little wet probably from the snow so we'll have to run it in our dryer which isn't an issue we all I'm worried about right now is getting it off before we uh if the snow starts knocking the the cobs down or the stocks down then we really have a problem that's going to be a nightmare trying to harvest then so that's when uh harvesting in the snow isn't fun is when uh, you have down corn so Corn will harvest till late in the year, but uh, the problem is, is no one ever wants to harvest down corn because uh, that is no fun whatsoever. Looks like we almost got this trailer full. And of course, don't have the topper open on this trailer. All right, we will uh, catch Timmy over here. Unload. Timmy doesn't have near the unload unload auger my wife has, so my wife's is way longer than Timmy's. Size matters. Size does matter. Uh oh see my wife down there she needs unloaded never ending job here on look with grain cart and corn harvest that's for sure really trying to get this uh, truck started moving here and it ain't, ain't working oh this thing is just spinning out like mad wow 
we actually got it moving a little bit so basically there's a little bracket on the back of this trailer here and I'm trying to push it with this loader oh man we are getting nowhere we had it running we had it moving a little bit ugh ugh I'm gonna have to go back and give it a little bit of uh tap tap a room but oh, still not working man I don't know, we might have to just be grain carting that, uh, our loads back. I don't know. I really need another grain cart. Alright, after a lot of trouble, I finally got this thing ready out of the field. I don't think I'm gonna take it back that far, so I'll probably keep, just keep these trucks on the hardened surface right by that field and have to grain cart it over there. Uh, I was hoping to at least get somewhat close, but... Man, I, I can't take having to go all that push in, go back in the tractor, go back in the load start, push again. Uh, it just, it's just not fun. And that way I don't have to stop the harvesters. Timmy had to help me get this thing out, so poor Timmy. Man, I just can't get over it. That blue just looks so much more baby blue with the white snow. Timmy, man, that guy's kind of a little bit weird sometimes. All right, we got this, well, kind of in position. I'm gonna start this uh, tractor up. Yeah, workhorse starting up. First time, we'll let everything warm up a little bit and then start this auger. All right, so that load is unloaded. So now all we have to do is try not to get this truck stuck again. That's going to be the challenge. So I'm sure everyone already needs unloaded, like always. We're so needy over here. But I'm gonna keep this on the hardened surface. I don't know, maybe I'll just load up that, uh, the Peterbilt and just see if it can uh, get out of that. It's got a little bit better tires than this uh, Lodestar, but we will load everything over here in our little farmyard right here, so probably uh, just turn this truck around so it's facing out. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing about uh, frozen ground, you don't have to worry about the mud because this fall, spring, summer, it was always muddy around here. Never gave us a break from the mud and the rain. All right, we'll load right there, at least try to, and uh, get over here and get back to my uh, regular seat in my grain cart. Run that thing for a while. Don't know if it's a good idea to fill up this Peterbilt or not, but I uh, may regret it, but we'll see. It's right here already, so just we'll fill it up. So my wife went back. She's gonna make us something to eat really quick. That's good of her. So uh, I'm just unloading here. The grain cart, I'm gonna run this until she gets back. Leave the grain cart, which is almost already full. Over here for a little while. Gonna be a little bit slower, but we'll make it work. Uh, Timmy. It's over there running in the gleaner. So, he's doing good. I'm probably going to cut a new pass over here. I'm trying to beat Timmy. Got a race, race, race. So, uh, I'll probably just cut a pass right about here. There we go. Cut this. All right, we are harvesting a deerzilla here. So, uh, Timmy's running right beside us. So, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the other side or not. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So I might have to cut a pass out of here. That's why I didn't cut that much, uh, leave that much of a gap in between there because, uh, 
grain cart's full, so... Oh man, I forgot that Peterbilt's full. Man, everything's full. Except the load star, I just saw it be that. It's like Timmy's getting pretty close to full over there too. But uh, do you guys notice this or not? Uh, I'm gaining on the gleaner. Putting the gleaner to shame over there. So this uh, harvester is a little bit newer. But uh, the green paint is basically uh, beating uh, the silver. The silver cedar over there. See you later, Timmy. 8R Dust. Do enjoy harvesting in the snow. I don't know what it is about it, but maybe it's just because you get to be in a nice warm harvester when it's cold outside. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, but it's not enjoyable if you ever have to clean out the, the sieves, that's for sure. Or if you have down corn. Them two things make it almost unbearable, very annoying, very frustrating. That's when a lot of, let's say, uh, family arguments happen or farm arguments happen. You talk about a stressful, annoying experience. Don't think I'm gonna make it to the end. Oh man. Uh oh, uh oh. There's our. There. No, uh, yep. Just heard the, the corn on top of the cab if you didn't hear that. Oh man. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to cut a pass out of here. Oh, look at Timmy pass me now. I guess which one won? Cleaner or the John Deere? So we're gonna race over here and put some corn in my bed. No, I'm just kidding. Put some corn in the back of that bed there. Uh, we actually uh, are keeping the load star over here because of the nightmare trying to get that thing out. Hoping the Peterbilt, it's going to be easier, but uh, not counting my. Oh, that's a big hole right there. I didn't know that hole was there. Got a giant uh, hole there. Maybe I'll uh, push some of my junk in there. That way I can uh, cover it up. One load here. This harvester does have a pretty fast unloader on it. A load in front of this belt here so we don't get a lot of back weight on this uh, trailer. Even though we will definitely fill it all the way up anyways. It's like we are all ready. Oh, I want to go out of control around some trees. Uh, man, I'm all over the place. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Almost hit a tree there. That was close. I had to go slower. Such in a rush all the time. Hey Timmy, you gotta go over here and unload. Uh, I kind of miscounted two rows, and now we have two rows of shame over there. But no, oh, we'll blame. Timmy and his truck color that caused everything. That's that's our story and we're sticking to it. You see we just have a little bit more to go over there. Not too much so probably about eh, what is that? Probably a good uh, four truckloads maybe. So Timmy uh my wife still hasn't brought the lunch or anything. I mean, you got, you're just gonna sit there and wait? I mean, come on. At least go walk over to the grain cart and unload it. Well, oh well. He's gonna have to wait, because I enjoy driving my, uh, uh, hawk vine here. Almost sounds like a, a, uh, don't know which one I like yet. Deerzilla kind of rings hookbine. It, uh, it almost sounds, uh, what is it, like uh, Russian or maybe? Hookbine. 
Hookpot. I don't know, but I, I kind of like both names, but that's our dinger. So we got two different dingers, which is odd in this uh, harvester. You definitely know what before you're going to get some cap corn, even though we just got some cap corn. Wow, we just barely, barely, I mean, barely made it to the end there we are hopping full but uh thank y'all for watching and i will see you later here in nebraska thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe